Hello there. Welcome to Tuck and Cash. I hope you all are doing well. So we have a new round of tournament, and this is my first game. So let's look at the hand, and then I'll tell you more about the tournament. So here we go. Oh, hmm. Okay. Some options here, not the greatest. Um, let's see the magpie in the grassland early game. Not really that useful. The Merganser, also not the best wetland bird. The Night Heron, I had a video where I play a Night Heron opening. I don't know if I'm gonna try that again. Maybe. Um, because I also have the Great Crested Flycatcher, so that's a good forest bird. You, you gain one grub from the bird feeder, and it seems like that's at least one grub right now. And the parrot chicken, again, definitely not a good early bird. So let's look at the bonuses. So we have platform birds, set of eggs, um, eggs in cavity and eggs in forest. So really the fly catcher is good for both the cavity and also the forest. So, okay, let's look at the bonus card. We have birds that only eat grub and the pastoring special specialist i'll probably go with the food web expert here i just like bonus card that's a little bit more flexible and yeah four birds to earn three points is really not that much um so i'm going first let's look at the tray so we have the woodpecker the pelican and the wood duck the wood duck is nice, but there's no grain right now, so that would be difficult. So that's out of the question. Um, so yeah, really what I'm looking at is I either start with the night heron or I start with the flycatcher. Hmm, the, the, the night heron is nice for the first round bonus. Definitely a bit more risky. Um, so I keep the night heron. Is there any birds in the tray I can play easily? Not really. It really highly depends on what cards I draw. I mean, I can keep both the fly catcher and the heron. Um. Yeah, how about that? If I play, if I can play the flycatcher and then gain food to play the heron. Let's look at the bird feeder. So we have both fish and rodent. Actually, that that might not be a bad idea. Um, I kind of like it. So it really depends on what they pick. Hopefully they don't pick the food I need. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this. So the, the plan is to play Flycatcher and then gain food to play the Night Heron. Um, I think that's a good move. So yeah, like I say, that there is a new round of tournament so I'm in this tournament called the Swift Start Tournament and this is my first game and this is the first tournament that we're experimenting with house rule and the house rule is um, no power for birds can be played in round one so I'm talking about Killdeer, Franklin Skull and Ravens so it will be really interesting to see how people like this house rule. I personally find, I personally really like it. I find it a lot more balanced when those birds are not played in round one, um, especially for a two players game. And I, I have played quite a few games with the house rule and that's what I saw like um, when people kept the raven or kill deer until round two. Um, the, the score difference is much smaller, or in many cases, um, it's not a guaranteed win for people who play the power four birds. 
So I'm kind of leaning towards only playing with House Rue moving forwards because that's really how I like to play. All right, let's see. Ooh, they play one of the new bird. Let's see. Gain a grain from the supply. Yup, that's a good um, new bird from the Swift Start pack. So it's basically another nut catcher where you get a grub from the supply. Um, yeah, that's a really good starting bird. Um, and I'm glad that they did not pick up the three that I need in this case. I needed the rodent and I'll pick up the grub using my fly catcher. Alright, so things are going according to my plans so far. Um, yes, and um, another thing I should also mention is that there are a lot more new features added to our tournament discord recently. I mean, I don't know when this video go up, so it might be a while um, since, but so we basically added a elo system so people can play rank game and get a rating all right back to me Ooh, the osprey looks really good so the drawn bird ah they drawn one of those bird again i did not pay attention what was it did they draw on? the osprey looks good so i'm gonna play my night heron if the osprey is still there i probably will pick up the osprey eventually all right they're really aggressive with the card draw um they just drawn the osprey so wow okay i really wanted that osprey um that would be really great i mean the whistling duck hmm. no so another thing that can work is I can use the heron to get a grain and then tuck it under whistling duck. But that really will only net me net me a one point engine. I don't think it's worth it. So I'm going to lay eggs and draw cards next. Yeah, that's not really a lot of good cards right now. The wood duck, whistling duck. Woodpecker is not really what I'm looking for. I'm hoping I can draw a one food bird. Then I can just use my hair and to get one food and play it. That would be ideal. Um, hopefully a forest or a wetland bird. We'll see if that happens. And my, and my opponent just got the Osprey. But it might be a while before they can play the Osprey because first they have to pick up a fish and then they have to play the Osprey. They probably want to lay egg before they pick up cards. So I may not be getting that free fish anytime soon. Oh, they just pick up food. I bet they pick up the fish. Let's see. Yep, they did. They pick up the fish. So they might play the Osprey soon. Regardless, I have to pick up cards. I don't want the wood duck. I don't want the whistling duck. Let's pick one from the deck. Okay. Hummingbird might be good. I would love that. Ooh, the yellow black, yellow headed blackbird. It's not the worst because if I can tuck and lay and then use blackbird to consume that egg to gain Food, so I'm getting card points and food in the same engine. That's not a bad idea, but it takes some setup. Let's see what else I can get. Ooh, the cast and sparrow. Yeah, that's not bad either. So really the question is, do I want to use the Night Heron? Um, I kind of like these two birds, let me see. If 
If I use the Knight Heron, then I will have to lay X again to play the black, the the yellow-headed blackbird. Um, okay, I think I'll do it. Um, I'll get a crow. Okay, to play the osprey, so might be getting some free fish here. Um, okay, let's get the grain and the grub. So two more turns. I can lay eggs, play the blackbird, and then yeah. Alright, so they gain food again. That's interesting. And I think they they gain the fish. Hmm. There must be something going on here because they can just gain the fish using the osprey, but they decide that they don't want to do that. Okay. So my plan is to play the blackbird and then I can draw and use the heron to gain a grain that can help me to play the sparrow. Or if I get better cards, that might change things too. So I'm a little bit more set up for the second round bonus for sure. So yeah, maybe they want to play another platform birds and then lay eggs so that they can get they can win the first round bonus. Um, that seems reasonable. Okay, let's see. Did they play? They did. Ooh, they played the Bob White. That's interesting. That's very expensive, and it's not a platform. Um, but it's a good bird. Um, so they're going for the balance forest here. So they got grub from the forest, eggs from the grassland, and fish from the wetland. Um, so I'm gonna go with my plan here. Spend an egg. So no question they're gonna lay eggs. Alright, let's see. So we tie. That's not the worst case. Um Ooh, hummingbird. I will love to get the hummingbird. So if I can get the hummingbird, then I can have a really robust um, engine going the wetland. So I can gain two food plus. Oh, look at that. Okay, I get a osprey. Okay. While the ravens show up, I gotta pick up the raven, don't I? Um. So yeah, they did pick up the hummingbird. That means I'll be getting free food. But I think the raven will still. It's still worth it, and it worked out perfectly. I have two food, and I can use a night heron to get a rodin, and then I can, I can play the raven. So I think this is a good play. Ooh, the bells be real. So good. About to tuck one of them. Um, I think the Cassin's Sparrow will be really good because I have the Raven if I play it and then I get extra eggs, so I think the Bell's Vero has to go. And I get to lay an egg. And it just work out that I can consume the egg on the Blackbird to get a Rodan. Yep. Yep, as I say, we have the house rule where the power four birds cannot be playing round one, but you can keep them in your hands, so if they show up in your starting hands, you can keep them, but the earliest you can play the power birds, power four, is in round two. And they really balance the game a lot. So let's see. They play the pelican. Makes sense because they get a lot of fish from Osprey, and they can use the fish to tuck under Pelican, so that's going to work out very well for them. Um, Raven. Actually, I just realized something. Um, I tuck away the 
the bird that I tapped away just now, the Wirio. I can score additional 2 points from the bonus card too. So I'm kind of kicking myself a little bit. Um, but hopefully this Cassin's Barrel is going to be worth it. Let's see. The game food. Yeah. Um, So it like I, I can have at least three sets of eggs. Let's see. Ooh, they play the hummingbird. Um, that can be good. Free food for me. Yeah, I think the engine of the grassland is not bad. They get four eggs and the food. Um, so. Potentially, they can be quite competitive for the second round bonus. So if they're winning the second round, then maybe I should focus on the third and fourth round. I do have one cavity. We're pretty equal into a forest egg spot. So yeah, I need to keep a close eyes on the third and fourth round bonus. So let's see if they're gonna activate the hummingbird. That might that might that might help me to decide which bird um, I'm gonna pick up. I mean I'm not gonna be able to get a rodent, but I can use the night heron to get a rodent, so playing the Harrier in the grassland to score me extra points might not be a bad idea. Yeah, I think another oop, free food. Um, what should I get? Let's take the flexible grub here. So I can really also play the bunting if I want to. Okay, I'm gonna draw birds. Okay, let's see. The nut hatch is nice because. Um, it's a cavity and it has two points. But I'm thinking if I get the Harrier, that can really help me to build up my um, wetland engine. And that's what I need right now because I'm running off, I, I need to draw more cards. More than two at a time, so. I'm gonna pick the head. The nut hatch, two points, not super appealing. So you can do that, and then. The cardinal. The cardinal can be really nice. Five spots for the forest. Um, so I have two more turns. I can focus on laying eggs and try to score the second round bonus. Um, but I'm not sure if that's the best use of my turns here. I'll, I'll see what my opponent does. So they already have one set, so they have two more turns. Let's see if they're gonna lay eggs again. Um, so the bird feeder got refreshed. Maybe they use the hummingbird. Let's see. They did? Okay, I already got a rodent. Um, maybe I'll take a grain. Yeah, so they're really gung-ho going for the second round bonus here. And it's gonna be quite hard for me to compete. So they already have two sets, so they can have at most three sets. Um, I can lay four eggs. Um, one, two, three, four. Uh, I can at most lay, lay eight. And I have one. Yeah, if I want to, I can tie them. But I really don't feel like it. But I'm going to give them the impression that I am going to try to tie them. Um, 
So that will force them to lay eggs again. Yeah, if I lay eggs again, I can tie them for three sets. You have to turn bird feeder again, so what do I want? Green grub, yeah, I'll pick some rodent, I guess. Okay. So they're gung-ho, they're going for three sets. I guess why not? I can tie them. Um, right? One, two, three, four. And then four. Oh, wait a second. No, one, two, three. Oh, the Franklin's goal. Are you kidding me? And the Golden Eye. Um, they're both very good. Is it too late for me to play the goal? I mean, regardless, I have to pick it up because... Um, I think the goal and the Golden Eye might not be a bad idea, so... The star nest, does the star nest even help me with anything? Yep, the this round bonus. I definitely like to play the golden eye. I mean, they're not gonna lay it that much, but. Ah, oh, it's not even a good play, I'm so. Yeah, let's do that. Um, so I'm gonna tug the hair here. And then I'm gonna spend one egg from the Kennedy. So I really want to fish so that I can play the golden eye soon. Even though I don't think they're gonna lay eggs anytime soon. Oh, but the golden eye really also helped me with the third round bonus, so yeah, the golden eye is a good pickup. The Franklin's goal, I guess it's a nice pivot. And there's not really a lot of good options to trade from my opponent. I think the heron might be interesting. Because they can they can turn the fish they gain from Osprey and use Heron to turn it into a different food. The Tohi definitely too late to play. The Quill, you don't have the food. They did pick up the Heron and I got a fish. Ooh, this is really working out for me because I needed the fish to play the Franklin's goal. Um, Considering the fact that they won't be laying eggs anytime soon, I think I should play the goal first. Uh, the rodent, yep, the rodent is fine. Spend an egg. Um, oh. uh, yeah. Actually, I, I don't want to spend it there. Maybe. Okay, things are not bad. I mean, the woodpecker might be a nice pickup, um, but really playing the golden eyes is the same because it has the cavity, so I can play and then lay eggs in the cavity. So woodpecker would be good for the last round bonus. Yeah, really one thing about this round is that I did not score any points from the Fruit Web Expert, so that's disappointing. Um, they just got a second bonus card, so hmm. 
Yeah, I might be going up against a bonus card here. If I play that, um, I should probably play my Golden Eye. And I'm anticipating them laying eggs. So with a food situation, they have a fish and a grain. Yep, if they don't want to use the forest, they might lay eggs and activate the hummingbird again. I think I'm looking good for the third round. The fourth round, not so much. So that four, okay. Um, spend an egg. Alright. Okay, um, it's not the worst, a barring owl. Star nest, um, I can do that. Um, if that's the case, I think I can get better forest bird than the woodpecker. Um, so, oop, uh, blackbird, is it too late? Um, it's interesting. But let's discard some eggs. Um, so what I really need to play this is to play this. So I can play the the blackbird, but do I even have that many rounds to Capitalize on the blackbird. What is it better if I just go with the barring owl? So I play this. I lay eggs and tugs. Yeah, that's a lot of eggs. Like, I don't have that many eggs. Um, okay, they give me some food again. So, in that case. What do I want? Do I want. Rodent, grub. I'll take a grub. Yeah, if I play the blackbird, then I'll be laying six eggs in one go. That's a lot. And I'm getting free eggs from um, from them laying eggs, so it's getting kind of tricky. Um, I think I'm gonna play the ball right now first. I mean, I can really also play in the blackbird. Eh, I don't know. I'll I'll let the I'll let the critic the critics let me know if I should have played the blackbird instead of the boring owl. Mm, after I posted this video, I really have a feeling with the blackbird. Um, I, I just won't have enough spots um, to lay eggs and to capitalize on that so I'm winning the third round bonus I definitely want to win the fourth round so drawn bird I get a fish oh so much food um, okay I'm laying them here yeah there's no way they're gonna beat me actually in the case and is this my last turn yeah Maybe I'll just distribute them evenly. Okay, every points count. Um, again, I don't think they're gonna beat me, so... Oh, that one more turn. Yeah, there's no way. Um, so I, I might just spend... Oop, what happened here? Okay, I might just spend here. So again, the woodpecker is on the table. Oh, the bunting. Um, yeah, bunting is nice. Bonus card. Should I get the woodpecker? I feel like I can do better than woodpecker. Oh man, the cuckoo. Two X spot. Okay, X where? 
sure go you get one okay should I get food to play the cuckoo five points not the worst I'm gonna get eggs yeah let's see what's the engine situation I don't know if they're gonna activate the engine that much Let's do it. Can you competitive for the forest bonus? All right, so I'll take one egg. Okay, again, it's bug. Um, so I need another grub and a grain for the bunting. All right, third round down, so that's... Oh, good thing, no good birds in the tray for last round here. Um, yeah. Let's see, they play the quill. Ooh, they're really gunning for the last round bonus. Which is fine, even if they win the last round, that means the end of round goal is a wash. So that's not the not something I worry about the most. Um, but I definitely want to play my Cuckoo because I've, I have a feeling they're going to wait soon. Um, let's see. So they're going to go to star. Hmm, eggs in the four. Where do I spend? Spend the star. So really, with the golden eye and the cuckoo bird, um, I'm reducing the grassland into two points because they're gaining four eggs, but they're giving me two. So they only net gain two points from the grassland. Um, yeah, which is what I would like to see. Um, on the other hand. I at least have a uh, four or five points. Oh, they gain food. Did they use the grassland or did they use the forest? Maybe they use the forest now that they have the. Yeah, they did use the forest. Um, they gain. Wow, a lot of food. I don't know if they have a lot of birds to play. But I will. I still have a bonus card, so... Only one, okay, not very promising. I will draw more cards. Gallon you, not the worst. I have to play more birds. Sparrow, definitely too late. Can I spend? Savannah Sparrow, okay. Okay, I need to gain food. And again, a grub and a sure, a grain sure. So I only have so I only have three more turns, so Really, I can just play the bunting and then lay eggs twice. Do I have enough spots for that? I lay f six eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think I should have enough spots for that. Um, I don't think I needed to draw that two cards. But it is what it is. Draw on bird and give me fish. Okay. Ah. Uh, just nullify all the food that I got, but it's alright. Play the bunting. Good bonus card, please. Oh, two points. Yeah, that was a five points move. That's not the worst, but also not the best. Yep. Two more rounds, there's no question, I'm just going to be laying eggs. Alright, oh, very nice, Vera and Wild Turkey. That's a big turns for them. 
Yep. I think it's gonna be a very close game here. Okay. have to lay eggs, so I will be giving free eggs from them. Um, no luck, lay one egg. Oh no, I don't want to draw more cards. They only have two more turns. Oh, one turns. Oh, I only have one turn, so they, they got the lay eggs, and their last turn is only two points because they're giving me two eggs, so at least that make up a little bit of the points, but I don't know, I'm feeling quite nervous about this game here. Mainly just because I got two points from bonus card, and if they get really good bonus card from the spotted owl, it can really swing um, the game. Alright, two eggs. Bonus. Cavitiness. Okay. So we have 12 eggs. I have quite a few eggs, so. Oh, that's very welcome one point. Okay. That's it! I don't know, feeling nervous about this game. It really all comes down to the bonus card that they have. Let's see, bird points. Okay, a small leap. Oh, they score a bit more from bonus. Hopefully I can make up those score from the eggs. Yup. I think I got this game. Very nice! 96 points, very close to 100. Um, yeah, that was a good game. Um, I think the Raven was a nice pivot for round two. Um, and then the goal show up, of course. Um, didn't really have much luck with my bonus card, but um, overall it works out pretty well. I think the Cuckoo and the Golden Eye didn't give me really that many free eggs but um, it kind of forced them to pivot away from um, the grassland engine because you know with two ping power it reduced the grassland engine to a two points engine so they kind of have to pivot it to the forest so that's why they play the quill in the forest um, the viewer and the turkey was a good play yeah very nice game um, for both my opponents and i and as always, I hope you enjoy watching this video. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.